Now this is something that might not be exciting to many general consumers, but for me personally, since I often work on the go and I definitely appreciate the value of multiple monitors, I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of the videos where I'm in my office, but in my office I have four monitors. So one of the major disadvantages to me of working on a laptop is not having dual screens because I can have uh, a mouse, I can have an add-on keyboard, but uh, well, excuse me, sorry, I can have a mouse, an add-on keyboard isn't that easy, but I can make myself fairly mobile and fairly comfortable, except carting around a monitor usually isn't really an option. So here we have a monitor CD user's guide and installation files, although I definitely recommend downloading the latest from Lenovo. Uh, so yeah, this is a Lenovo product, I should have mentioned that. There's also a bit of a quick start guide type thing going on here, so we'll go through that when we get a little bit more information about the product itself. This looks like some kind of a stand, okay? So there's a stand, it's got some instructions for how it might work. Don't forget the USB cable, it says. Okay, we've also got the aforementioned USB cable. So this is a dual USB-A to single USB-B. And there's a good reason for that, which I'll cover in a moment. Or it's uh, rather mini, mini B. Mini B? Yeah, mini B. Okay, and finally, we have the monitor itself. So, uh -huh. there we go. So what is this for? What is, a, what is a monitor in this particular form factor good for, you might ask? And I would say that is a very good question. Let me go ahead and answer it for you. So this is a secondary display for your notebook that connects, hold on a second, now I'm having trouble because I've got so many accessories going on here, that connects via USB. It is not only USB powered, but it is also, here you can adjust the, uh, the angle to be even with, uh, that stand on the back, to be even with the angle of your notebook, but it is also USB, a USB display. So you don't need any kind of uh, external output on your notebook whatsoever. In fact, if you do want to output to a projector or something like that at a meeting, then you can still do that. So that's why it has two USB ports. One of them is for power, although they aren't labeled. One of them is for power and one of them is for data. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and plug this in to the monitor itself. So that goes in right about there. Okay. Actually, I should give you guys a closer, a closer look at the, actually, give me a sec. For convenience sake, I actually did use the disc. Sorry guys. Uh, basically the quick setup guide is probably not even quite as simple as the actual process. So you power on your laptop. They actually include that as a step. You uh, put the disc in the thing and then you plug the USB things into the other USB things. And then you adjust the brightness and that's pretty much, oh, then you can put it away when you're done. So I discovered a couple of other things while I was setting it up. And one is that the case for it, so that's the case that you use to store the unit when you're transporting it to make sure the screen doesn't get damaged, also has little ridges right here, which allow you to easily adjust the angle and have it not accidentally slip out. So it's rubber tipped, plus there's a groove there. So it is not going anywhere. And I would suggest that it's probably usable even without the actual, uh, the actual stand. One of the other things that I did was I found out the resolution of the display. So this is a 1366 by whatever that is. So 1366 by 768 widescreen display. The brightness is highly adjustable. I apologize, Windows is not genuine. This is not true, it's genuine Windows. Well, it's sort of true because it's genuine Windows, but it's, um, I change my hardware all the time, which is technically not allowed, but I'm not gonna, I mean, I just changed the SSD in here and that's why it deactivated, so I uh, keep changes. So here we go. So we're set up, it's pretty much that simple. I can show you guys the brightness adjustments. Obviously something to bear in mind about this display, so right about here, uh, obviously something to bear in mind about this display is if you're running it off battery power, it's gonna significantly impact your battery life because it runs not only the power for the display off USB, but also the data. Check that out, you've got a wide range of brightness options. Uh, but the increase in productivity is probably going to more than make up for it. So in case you guys don't know, you can adjust it like this to make sure that your, uh, here we go, just about like that, to make sure that your mouse, when you move it over between the two displays, doesn't take that huge leap of faith. So how's the responsiveness of it? 
you can see that frame rate is not as good as it is over here because instead of using the GPU to accelerate the uh, Windows effects, we're using, well, just the slow data rate here and a uh, and USB graphics controller. So bear, bear that in mind as well. Although for productivity, it is awesome because I can throw this here. I can, you know, go look at something here. I can make notes over here. I can adjust this as I see fit in a very convenient fashion. This is a very cool product. I'm just going to show you guys how simple it is to disconnect. So you do that. Your laptop goes, oh, that's not connected anymore. You fold up this back piece. I mean, the tooling is exceptional, as we've come to expect from anything made by Lenovo. It's just outstanding. Like, even though it's so thin, it's about the thickness. Well, okay, my iPhone comparison is no longer working now that I have this clunky battery case on it. But it's about the thickness of an iPhone in the thin parts, just like that. You can see that. And, uh, but this, this, it has a very solid overall feel to it in spite of that. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can figure out how this goes in here. There we go, just clamps in there like that, protects the front of it. Simply a cool little product. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Lenovo Think Vision Extra Monitor for a laptop, USB powered, USB display, very neat product. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.